Hey everyone, let's talk about Deathbound, the book that tells you all about the sedentary lifestyle and the bad effects it has on our life and offers you solutions to change that. Or at least that is the promise. Now, why did I get this book? I used to have a rather active job where I was moving a lot more, but a few years ago that changed and my life became more sedentary than it used to be. And I noticed I don't really like that. So when I came across this book, I got curious. I also have a background in sports teaching, so I am genuinely interested in the topic. But this book, we need to address the format shortly. I originally got the ebook, which was a third of the price of the hardback, and I thought it would be easier to read and to carry with me, which was true. For the text and the reading on the go, it was very good to have the ebook. Unfortunately, for all the images and exercises, the ebook is useless. I couldn't really make anything out of the images that were there, so I ended up buying the hardback after all. And I am glad I have both now because reading the hardback and carrying it with me is not an option. It's way too heavy, it's way too big, but it's nice to have it at home to do the exercise. Now let's talk a little bit about the writing. In nonfiction books, especially in self-help nonfiction books, it's often addressed that writing is bad. And I cannot say that for this book. The writing is very well done. You can understand it. It's not over your head. It's not too simplistic. It addresses you personally. I like that in the introduction, you are really felt uncomfortable with your sedentary life. It reads a little bit like a horror story with all the effects that it has on your life and you just feel bad all the time and you immediately want to start changing things, which is a good thing. As you progress, the writing keeps being understandable and you can follow it easily. And it also addresses how you can change things. And it always makes room for being human and just not being able to be perfect all the time. I really like that it didn't talk down on you and made you feel bad for doing the stupid things. Although they do have the saying of making good or bad life choices when they sit correctly or incorrectly in their family. And I'm just like, oh, that's a little bit too much. But if you can overlook that, that's fine. A little bit more about the content. Like I said, it introduces you to the effects the sedentary lifestyle has on our lives and on our body. And also, it gives you little tips how to change things on the go as you start reading. I like that. It gives you some inspirations of how to reduce optional sitting time and how to change a few things. It is hard at some points because it's very convenient to sit and just fall into old habits. But they also say that a lot of times that it's very difficult to make this life change. And that is what I think that you need to consider most when you think about buying this book because it takes a lot of effort and work to actually do it. So this gives you the material at hand, what to do, gives you ideas, gives you tips, you can expand on that. But what it also asks you to do is make a lot of hard changes. There are the 14 prescriptions at the end where you can mobilize your body. And I wanted to do the 14 day test trial before I did the review, but it turned out I'm not really good at doing them every day. So. Getting into all of this and implementing it into your daily life needs a lot of effort. And I am an active person. I like to stand more than I like to sit, especially when I'm working. So for me, it doesn't feel like that a big a change and still it's not easy. For me, doing some exercises is not hard because I do exercises every day. But if I imagine you are someone who's been stuck at a desk for years and not just a year like me, then it might be a lot harder to get into it and especially trying to do it alone. So it is a lot of good stuff that you can get out of the book, but to actually make it work, it is an investment of time and energy and commitment. And I would recommend if you don't feel like you can do that on your own or do it at all, don't waste your money on this because it is an expensive book with good advice. But if you're not ending up doing it, it's not worth it. And those are my thoughts on the book. I don't regret having two editions now. I actually like to do it and I'm curious to see how much longer it will take me to implement a lot of the mobilization exercises into my life and improve on that and make things change. But I don't know. Let's talk in comments if you've read the book, if you've used it, how was your experience with it, if you're interested in things like that. Let's talk about all of this. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.